Archana, can I begin? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyabari Paschachadesha Tarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavan Ebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare, This meeting is being recorded. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're retelling the stories of the Krishna book and this evening we're on chapter number 31 which is entitled Songs by the Gopis. So this chapter is very famous and it's called the Gopi Gita. And there are many people, many devotees who can, they will sing the whole, they will sing all the verses of this chapter. There are, I think, 19 verses in the chapter and people memorize the whole all the 19 verses and they will sing them. So, uh, these the songs were sung by the gopis after Krishna had left them. Krishna had disappeared from them. He had, he had brought them to the forest of Vrindavan and then he disappeared. The gopis had left everything. They'd left their homes, they'd left their families, and some of them even left their children to come to be with Krishna. Lord Krishna was in the forest, he just simply played on his flute. He called, he, he, by playing on his flute, they could all hear Krishna playing on the flute. And they understood this is Lord Krishna calling us, we have to go to him. So the gopis just left everything and they came running to Krishna. They had so much love for Krishna. 
And so when they came there, for Lord Krishna was joking with them a little bit and he said, Why are you coming here? And he said to them, you know, it's very dangerous here in the forest at night. There are wild animals. And you're young women, young, young ladies, it's not good for you to be here in the forest alone. But then Lord Krishna then agreed that he would dance Rasalila Rasa Lila with them. And Lord Krishna, by his yoga powers, he could expand himself so that there was a Krishna for for all the gopis. Each gopi, the, well, there were, every two gopis, the, Lord Krishna would be in the middle and two gopis. There one gopi on his left hand and one gopi on the right hand. And Lord Krishna is dancing with these gopis. And there were many, many gopis. So there were many Krishnas and each Krishna was dancing with two gopis. And there was one gopi, one very special gopi, who Lord Krishna was dancing with her alone, just him and her. But then Lord Krishna could understand the gopis were becoming a little proud. They were thinking, Krishna is dancing with me. So gopis went, the gopis went to look for Lord Krishna. He disappeared from them. And when he disappeared from them, they all be, they understood that he left them because they would become proud. So, they felt very sorry that they'd been so silly to become proud. So then they went to look for Krishna. And when they went to look for Krishna, then they were asking all the animals and all the trees, did you see Krishna? Did you see the son of Nanda Maharaj? Where did he go? Which way did he go? And then they found Krishna's footprints. And then they saw that Krishna had one of the gopis with him, that he was not alone. He brought one special gopi with him. So then they found, after some time they found that, oh, there was only one set of footprints. And they understood that Krishna had to carry that gopi. 
เหลือรอยเท้าเนี่ยของแค่คนเดียวนั้นหมายความว่าโกปีท่านที่อยู่กับพร่องด้วยเนี่ยอาจจะเป็นลมไปแล้วสุดท้ายพร่องเนี่ยจะต้องจะอุ้มนางไป And then he, they saw one. There was one place where Krishna had stood on his tiptoes and he was picking flowers off the tree, and he was taking the flowers from the tree and putting them in the hair of the gopi. Then there was another time when he saw the flowers as just flowers, like a flower that is hanging out. He made them understand that Krishna is trying to get flowers so that he can pick up flowers to give them to the gopi. And then Krishna was carrying that that gopi, and that gopi became proud, and then Krishna disappeared from her also. And then all the other gopis came. All the other gopis came, and they found that gopi, and they felt very sorry for her that Krishna had left her. In the beginning, they, in the beginning, they were envious of her. But when, but when they met with her, then they felt very sorry for her. So, so together, they 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 they. Got together and they were remembering all the pastimes with Krishna. And they began to sing these beautiful songs about Krishna. And here's we'll read the first verse. It says that. Dear Krishna, that ever since you took your birth in this land of Vrindavan, everything is glorious. Vrindavan is not just a place on the map. It is not an ordinary place. It's a, it's a place, it's a holy place that always connected with the pastimes of Krishna. And it's visited, of course, many pilgrims, they come to visit there all the time. And many great devotees live there. Srila Prabhupada used to say, Vrindavan is my home. Srila Prabhupada used to say, So Vrindavan is also it's a birthplace that it, Lord Krishna took his birth in this land of Vrindavan. And the goddess of fortune is always she's always there also. But the gopis say, it is only only us, only what, only us who are very unhappy. Because we are searching for you, but we cannot find you. 
บอกว่าเราเนี่ยกำลังมองหาพระองค์อยู่แต่พวกเราเนี่ยหาท่านไม่เจอหาพระองค์ไม่เจอ We're trying very hard to find you We can't find you anywhere บอกว่าเราเนี่ยพยายามตามหาพระองค์ทุกที่แล้วแต่ว่าหาพระองค์ไม่เจอสักที But we depend upon you and we we request you please come and be with us Then another gopi said Dear Krishna you are the life and soul even of the lotus flower แล้วกูไปอีกนางหนึ่งก็กล่าวว่าคริสนาที่รักของข้าท่านคือชีวิตและวิญญาณแม้แต่ของดอกบัว The lotus flowers grow on the water of on the water of the lakes บอกว่าดอกบัวที่ขึ้นในทะเลสาบซึ่งมีน้ำใสสะอาด So the lotus flowers are very beautiful but without Lord Krishna's glance, then they're not so beautiful. Without Krishna's glance, the lotus flowers just fade away. They become they they wither and they dry up. They lose their life. หากไม่มีสายตาของท่านมองไปที่ดอกบัวเนี่ยดอกบัวก็จะกลายเป็นก็จะเหี่ยวแล้วก็แบบว่าเหมือนกับดอกที่ไม่มีชีวิตเขาจะไม่มีชีวิตชีวะ So Gopi, this Gopi said, without you, Krishna, we are also dying. We are also like that lotus flower. แล้วก็เป็นนางนี่ก็กล่าวว่า Krishna, พวกเราก็เช่นเดียวกันปราศจากพระองค์เนี่ยพวกเราก็เหมือนดอกบัวที่ And so the gopi says to Krishna, "We we are not your wives. We are your slaves." You never spend any money for us. But we are still attracted just simply by the, your your look, the way you, we are so attracted to you. Sorry, you. So the the gopi said. Uh, We are attracted by your. Uh, uh, the Gopi said, "If we die without, if you don't look on us, we will die." You'll be. You'll be the. It will be your fault. You're responsible. If you don't look on us, we're going to die. It will be your fault. แล้วถ้าเกิดว่าท่านไม่มาพบพวกเราเนี่ยพวกเราจะตายและการตายของพวกเราในครั้งนี้เนี่ยจะท่านเป็นต้นเหตุหรือท่านเป็นสาเหตุ So killing is very sinful to kill women การฆ่าเนี่ยในบรรดาการฆ่าในการฆ่าผู้หญิงเนี่ยถือว่าเป็นการฆ่าที่บาปมาก And if you don't come to see us and we die you will suffer the reactions f o r the sin เดี๋ยวถ้าเกิดว่าพระองค์เนี่ยทรงไม่มาแล้วก็ทําให้พวกเราเนี่ยเสียใจจากความทังเคินพระองค์จนเสียชีวิตเนี่ยพระองค์จะต้องยอมพระองค์จะต้องได้รับความบาปในครั้งนี้ So please Krishna please come and see us แล้วก็พวกนางก็ขอร้องบอกว่า Krishna ได้โปรดได้โปรดมาหาพวกข้าด้วย Don't think that because you don't have any weapon you cannot kill us People can die without weapons. Because you're not present, you're killing us. Because you've gone away and left us, we're we're dying, and it's killing us. 
พราะว่าท่านเนี่ยกำลังจะสังหารพวกเราทางอ้อไม่ได้สังหารโดยการใช้อาวุธหรืออะไรแต่ว่าจากการหายไปของท่านเนี่ยมันทําให้พวกเราเนี่ย So you you're being you're responsible for killing women. We know you have protected us many times, and we are very grateful to you. You protected us from the poison water of the Yamuna. Just like when Kaliya serpent was in the Yamuna, the Yamuna became poisonous. So Krishna protected us, protected the gopis from that. And you protected us from Bakasura, the demon Bakasura, who came to attack. And you protected us from Indra when Indra became angry and sent all the rain to Dev to pour on Govard on on Vrindavan. And when there was a forest fire, you protected all of us. So you're very great. You're very powerful. It was very wonderful of you to protect us from so many dangers. But at, the, but at this time, now you're neglecting us. You're not taking care of us. You're not protecting us now. So then the gopis said to Krishna that we know that you are not actually the son of Mother Yashoda or Nanda Maharaj. You are the supreme personality of Godhead and the super soul in all living entities. And you have appeared in this world out of your own mercy. Lord Brahma prayed for you to come and protect the world. And so it was your kindness that you took birth in the dynasty of Yadu. So anybody who is afraid of the materialistic way of life, they can take shelter of your lotus feet. You never deny anyone protection. Your movements are very sweet. Your movements are very sweet and you are independent. In one hand, you touch the goddess of fortune, and in the other, you hold a lotus flower. 
สัมผัสเทพธิดาแห่งโชคลาภและด้วยมืออีกข้างหนึ่งเนี่ยท่านถือดอกบัว So please come before us and bless us with the lotus flower in your hand. Then another gopi says to Krishna, "You kill all the fears of the people of Vrindavan." พระองค์ทรงฆ่าความกลัวของชาววินดาวันทั้งหมด You are the you are a great powerful hero. พระองค์เนี่ยถือว่าเป็นวีรบุรุษผู้มีพลังอำนาจสูงสุด And you take away the unnecessary pride of your devotees. และพระองค์ก็จะสังหารความภูมิใจอันไม่ควรของสาวกอย่างเช่นเหมือนกับผู้หญิงอย่างเราที่ท่านเนี่ยตัดเอาความภาคภูมิใจของเราไป Because the gopis were proud, they were dancing with Krishna, so Krishna knew they were proud, so Krishna disappeared. เพราะว่ากูเป็นรู้สึกภาคภูมิใจที่ตนเนี่ยได้เต้นลำของกฤษณาแล้วสุดท้ายเนี่ยนะกฤษณาก็เลยทรงหายตัวไปเพราะรู้ถึงความคิดของพวก When Krishna disappeared, then the gopis became humble. They lost their pride. แล้วตอนที่กฤษณาทรงหายตัวไปเนี่ยทำให้พวกโกปีเนี่ยความภาคภูมิใจของพวกนั้นหายไปแล้วก็นางก็รู้สึกทอมตนมาก Krishna does not like his devotees to become proud. พระชานะทรงไม่ชอบให้สาวของพระองค์เนี่ยมีความภาคภูมิใจในตัวนี้ So Krishna took away the pride of these of the gopis simply by his beautiful smile. พระชานะทรงทรงนำเอาความภูมิใจของพวกหญิงสาวนี้ไปเนี่ยด้วยรอยยิ้มอันสง่างามของพระองค์ So we are just your maid servants. We are like slaves to you. So please accept us. เราเป็นเพียงผู้รับใช้หรือทาของพระองค์เท่านั้นได้โปรดรับเราด้วยเถิด Please allow us to see your beautiful lotus-like face. ได้โปรดแสดงใบหน้าอันสง่างามที่คลายรูปดอกบัวของท่านด้วยเถิด Then a gopi says, "Actually, we have become very lusty because we were touched by your lotus feet." แล้วโกปีคนนึงก็บอกว่าอันที่จริงเนี่ยเรามีความราคะที่ได้สัมผัสพระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์ Your lotus feet take away all kinds of sinful activities of devotees. เพราะว่ารูปดอกบัวของพระองค์เนี่ยได้สังหารบาปกรรมทั้งปวงของสาว So devotees take shelter of your lotus feet, and in this way they get free of all sin. สาวผู้ที่ยึดเอาพระบาทของพระองค์เป็นที่พึ่งเนี่ยแน่นอนว่าความบาปของเขาทั้งหมดเนี่ยมันจะถูกชะล้างไป Krishna is so kind that even ordinary animals take shelter under your lotus feet Krishna เนี่ยทรงมีพระเมตตากรุณามากแม้แต่สัตว์ธรรมดาทั่วไปเนี่ยก็ยังรับเอาพระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์เนี่ยเป็นที่พึ่ง And the goddess of fortune also She stays there under the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. เทพธิดาแห่งโชคลาภก็เช่นกันนางก็ยังพักพิงอยู่ที่พระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์เช่นกัน But you danced on the head of the Kaliya serpent with your lotus feet. แต่ถึงกระนั้นเนี่ยพระองค์เนี่ยยังทรงเต้นรำบนศีรษะของกาลิยะ You you placed your lotus feet 
on the heads of the Kaliya serpent. So please place your lotus feet on our breasts and pure, take away our lusty desires to touch you. Then gopis praise Krishna that your eyes are so beautiful like the lotus flower. Your eyes are so nice and pleasing, they give pleasure to all of us. And when you speak, Lord Krishna's words, when you speak, they're so sweet, they're so pleasing. They they please even the greatest scholars. So even the greatest scholars become attracted to you. So we are also, although we are gopis, we are also attracted by your speaking and by the beauty of your face and your eyes. So gopis say, please satisfy us, let us taste the nectar of your lotus lips, kiss us. Word, the words which you speak or the words which are about you, which others speak about you, are all full of nectar. Just like Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita. So Bhagavad Gita is nectar. But Srimad Bhagavatam is spoken about Krishna. So Bhagav Srimad Bhagavatam is also nectar. So either speaking about Krishna or hearing Krishna's words, it's all nectar. And the effect of this nectar it, is it, it saves us from the fire of material existence. Even great demigods like Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, they also chant your glories. So because when they when they chant your glories, it it is it takes away the sinful reactions of all the people in the world. In the material world, people are all sinful. In the world, people are all sinful. 
But when Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva will chant Krishna, will speak Krishna Kata, then that will help to save people from their sinful activities. If we, if we just try to hear your words, try to hear your transcendental words, then we can very quickly come, we can very quickly get to the plat, we can become pious. So just hearing about Krishna is a pious activity. And for the devotees, for the Vaishnavas, the words about Krishna, they give so much pleasure to their heart. And, and saintly people, they will distribute this message, the message of your words. They will distribute the nectar of your words everywhere, all over the world. So this is the highest charity. Rupa Goswami also described like this when he approached Lord Chaitanya. He said, Lord Chaitanya is the most merciful incarnation because he's distributing the words of Krishna. And he's giving love of Krishna everywhere, all over the world, free. So the gopi said to Krishna, you are very cunning. Krishna is very cunning, very tricky. <laughs> he does. So he tricked the gopis, he brought them to the Vrindav, to the forest, and he was dancing with them, then he disappeared. So he's very tricky, he's very cunning. So you, you, you must know how much distress we are in. Because when we remember your smile and your glance, the way you look at us, when we remember you're walking with us, then it puts us, we feel so much distress. And you were talking with us in very quiet, lonely places, so it was very pleasing to our heart. Now, when we remember your behavior, then we feel distressed, we feel very sorry. So Krishna, please save us. You must know how much we are suffering. Krishna, 
ได้โปรดเข้าใจถึงความทุกข์ทรมานที่เรารู้สึกอยู่ในตอนนี้ Every day when we see you go out of the when we, when we see you leave the village and go to the forest with the cows it's very painful for us to see you leave us ทุกวันที่เราจะต้องเห็นพระองค์เนี่ยไปกับวัวตอนตอนกลางวันตอนท่านจะเข้าป่าไปกับวัวตอนนั้นเนี่ยเราก็ต้องอยู่ในความรู้สึกแห่งความหังเหินกับพระองค์ And we think about your lotus feet. Your feet, your lotus feet are very soft, and you're going on the dry grass. And there's many stones in the forest, and it must be sore on your feet. So we are so attached to you. That's why we always think of your lotus feet. And then when you return from the when you come back from the forest with the animals with all the cows and we see your face. And then you we see your how your 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 hair is all covered with the dust from the hoof of the calves. แล้วเมื่อตอนที่เราเห็นพระองค์เนี่ยทรงกลับมาหลังจากเลี้ยงวัวในป่าพอพระองค์กลับมาเนี่ยตัวพระองค์ก็จะมีฝุ่นเต็มไปหมดมีฝุ่นบนหัวพระองค์ก็จะกลับมาแบบโน้มเน้ม But then when we see your your face and we see you smiling. Then we desire to enjoy. We we have some. We just increases our desire to enjoy with you. So Krishna, you are the the supreme lover, and you always give shelter. To the surrendered souls. And you, fit, you, you satisfy everyone's desire. And your lotus feet are worshipped even by Lord Brahma. The creator of the universe. The p r u p o of the r o n g o r a a s a k a r a b u s h a m e t a d o y p r a p r o m p u s a And anybody who worships your lotus feet, you will always give. You will give your benedictions. You will give them whatever they want. You give your blessings to them. Anybody who worships your lotus feet, you will bless them. ผู้ใดที่บูชาพระบารูปดอกบัวของพระองค์พระองค์จะให้พรพวกเขาโดยไม่ต้องสงสัย So the go the gopis beg Krishna and say, be be pleased with us and please keep your lotus feet on our breasts. แล้วพวกกูปีก็อ้นวอนนะบอกว่าได้โปรดกรุณาชื่นชมยินดีกับเราด้วยเถิดแล้วก็ได้โปรดวางพระบาทรูปดอกบัวของพระองค์ที่อกของพวกเราเพื่อ This will take away all of our distress. เพื่อที่จะเพราะสิ่งนี้นะมันจะช่วยให้ความทุกข์ของเราเนี่ยถูกนำเอาไปหรือว่าถูกทำลาย When you play your flute, you fill your flute with the nectar of your lips. So we also want to taste the nectar of your lips. When you play the flute. The whole world becomes attracted and becomes enchanted by the sound of your flute, and 
We are, we also our hearts also so, so the gopis pray to Krishna in this way, please return and be with us and satisfy our desires. So this is the Gopi Gita. Prabhupada is explaining it in this way. Often, uh, in, especially during the month of Kartik, it's common to sing it. We like to sing it, but yeah, actually you can sing it any time. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Okay, that's a little bit of it. This is that's about 25 percent. There's 19 verses. I played the first five verses. But it's very nice to sing. You get in the habit, sing it every day. It's a very good sadhana. But we should know the meaning. We should know. We should understand what's happening. The gopis are praying to Krishna.
And gopis are crying, they're feeling, they're dying in separation from Krishna. In the, in the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya, Maharaj, the king of Puri, Maharaj Prataparudra, he wanted to meet Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya didn't want to meet him because he said, he's a king and I'm a sannyasi. I shouldn't meet materialistic people. So anyway, it happened when they were doing Rathiyatra. At one, you know, the, at one point Lord Chaitanya went in uh, to lay down on the ground to take rest because he'd been doing a lot of chanting and dancing and it was very hot. And Lord Chaitanya wanted a little rest. So they went into this one park and they lay down on the ground to take rest. And when, when Lord Chaitanya lay down, then the king came in disguise. He disguised himself like a humble devotee, just put on an ordinary dhoti, and wrapped some cloth around him. And he came and he started to give Lord Chaitanya massage. And then, while he was giving massage, he would sing the Gopi Gita. And when he came to the ninth verse, the ninth verse, Tavakatamritam tapta jivanam kavibiritam kaumasapaham Shravana Mangalam Srimad Atatam Bhuvi Grenantite Puri Dajana. So he was singing that verse, and when Lord Chaitanya heard that verse, Lord Chaitanya became very ecstatic. <laughs> Because that's a verse where it describes about those who distribute that knowledge, that mercy, the message of Krishna, those who distribute that message, they're very glorious. So, then Lord Chaitanya embraced the king and said, you are very glorious, you are very glorious. Okay, are there any questions? Yes, Guru Maharaj. I can see Vaishnavi Mataji. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Uh, uh, is Gopi Geet can be sung by anyone or it's only for very uh, advanced devotees or uh, like that, Guru Maharaj? Yeah, this is the first time I'm hearing this very nice Guru Maharaj. Yeah, it can be sung by anyone, yeah. But you should understand it, you should understand it, you know. Yeah, 
ความหมายแล้วก็รู้ความหมายได้ Uh, understand the meaning of it, right, Guru Maharaj? Right. Yeah. Okay. Chapter. This is the same chapter in tenth canto of Shrimad Bhagavatam, chapter number thirty-one. Mm. You never okay. see my Bhagavatam passing. You can you can get all the Sanskrit okay. verses there. Get all the Sanskrit verses from chapter thirty-one, and you can follow it. Okay, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Pranam, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, that's Gopi Gita Sloko, Nakalu Gopi Ka Nanda No Bhava, Nakila Dehi Nam. That means there the Gopi was, they know the Krishna was not a son of Yashoda. He is a Paramatma. So we thought the Gopis, they don't know about the Krishna. They know only the Son of Yashoda, how they know that? Ang tham kong prodi na ha, mis talong nang na gupigit na klaw la wa. Tong di po gupigit na klaw ba wa? Po ka na ru di wa tan na mi chay ru kong nanda malasa ku me Yashoda. Kwam jing la tan pen obukalita pap sung sut hen kaza wa la ni po gupigit na klaw tong ni thang mot. Prodi kiti wa tong lai lau kau zai wa po gupigit na mi ru tong ni la ga la Krishna ni ngan tisay tong ni na lau ku kau zai dai. Krishna revealed to them. Krishna revealed to them. He revealed to them that he is the supreme personality of Godhead by his by his killing all these different demons and by picking up the Govardhan hill and by him taking away the pride of Indra. All of these activities, he was showing himself to be the personality of Godhead. But by the influence of Yoga Maya, for the purpose of the pastimes, the gopis would forget. พระเอกกระชานะทรงแสดงพระองค์เนี่ยให้กับพวกกูปีซาไปโดยการทํากิจกรรมมันมาสัจจันต่างๆในการแบบว่าฆ่ามารต่างๆยกคู่เขาบูวาร์ตันหรือว่าลีลาเหล่านี้ซึ่งทําให้พวกนางเนี่ยรู้ได้ว่าความจริงเท่าไหร่ค่ะแต่ในขณะเดียวกันพระองค์ก็ใช้มาพลังงานเบื้องสูงของพวกเราเนี่ยทําให้พวกนางลืมไปในบางขณะเพื่อที่จะได้มีลีลาโกปิสินจอยมอร์คริชนาเมื่อคริชนาเป็นพระเอกของนันดามหาราชพวกโกปิเนี่ยจะมีความสุขกับคริชนามากขึ้นเมื่อพวกนางเนี่ยคิดถึงคริชนาในรูปของลูกของนันดามหาราช So remember these gopis are not ordinary they're not uneducated they're the most enlightened ladies เขาจะโกปิเนี่ยไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ผู้หญิงธรรมดาทั่วไปพวกเขาเนี่ยเป็นนักปราบผู้หญิงใหญ่ Some of these gopis in their previous life they were the personified Vedas. พวกเขาเนี่ยเป็นเป็นเหมือนกับเป็นตัวแทนของพระเวท And some gopis in their previous life they were the sages in the Dandakaranya forest and they saw Lord Rama Chandra and they were attracted to Lord Rama. แล้วก็กูปีบางคนเนี่ยเมื่อชาติปางก่อนเนี่ยสมัยพระรามเนี่ยพวกเขาเนี่ยเป็นนักปราบผู้ยิ่งใหญ่อยู่ที่ป่าแห่งเป็นพวกฤาษีแล้วเวลาแห่งพระรามแล้วเนี่ยพวกเขาเนี่ยรู้สึกชอบพระองค์มากและอีกชาติหนึ่งเนี่ยเขามาเกิดเป็นพวกกูปี And Lord Ramachandra blessed them that he they could come in his next incarnation And so they came as gopis พอตอนสมัยนั้นเนี่ยสมัยพวกเขาเห็นพระรามเขาชื่นชอบมากจนเราพระรามเนี่ยก็ส่งให้พรมาว่าชาติหน้าเดี๋ยวลีลาในชาติต่อไปเนี่ยพวกเธอมาร่วมลีลากับฉันได้มาเป็นบูปีในตอนที่ฉันมาอาวตารมาเป็นคริชนา So gopis know who is Krishna but sometimes just for the purpose of Krishna's pastimes the the pastime potency the lila shakti covers up Krishna To reveal him as a cowherd boy. When Pogo Pi, na, ความจริงแล้วเนี่ยความรู้ที่พวกเขามีเนี่ยคือเขารู้ถึงคริชนาองค์เดิมแท้ได้อยู่แล้วแต่ว่าด้วยลีลาสติของคริชนาทำให้ความรู้ตรงนี้ของพวกเขาเนี่ยจะลบเลือนไปในบางครั้ง So these gopis are not just only. 
They're not just simple village ladies with no education. They're the most elevated, the most enlightened ladies. If they were not so enlightened, how could they speak? How could they sing the Gopi Gita? How could they sing these songs without being very advanced, without being very enlightened? Yeah. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Raja Surya Prabhu. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Thank you for very nice discussion. And I knew that this is very confidential and Prabhupada never want to speak in the public and he will always say we have to be very careful to read about this and we can only hear from the from the real authority and today we are very lucky to hear from the Mama. It's very clear Maharaj and today I don't have question but I'm very happy to hear again the the mood of the gopis they they said that they are a slave of the Krishna and they they never get back any money. They are like a real servant. And that's that's make me uh, because sometimes I, I, we when we have problem we always ask from Krishna something. And when the business is not good, we ask sometimes our family are sick and we always ask something and we are totally different from the gopis. And at the same time, I want uh, Guru Maharaj, is it, uh, is it okay to ask something like, supposedly, when our friends or devotees are sick, can we ask from Krishna? Is it, is it wrong to ask? Or is it not good? คนที่ทําทางของโปรเจกต์ฮาโปรเจกต์ก็บอกว่าความจริงตรงนี้เนี่ยเอ่อเป็นสิ่งว่าเป็นเอ่อเหมือนกับส่วนที่เป็นคล
Krishna can do whatever he wants. He can take us wherever he wants. We may live or we may die. Let us always be in the, under the shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna. So that is that is the, the mood of the devotee. Devotee just wants to be with Krishna. So devotees always surrender to Krishna. It's not what we want, but what does Krishna want? So we say, if Krishna wants someone to live, nobody can kill him. If Krishna wants someone to die, nobody can save him. So we have to be, just surrender to Krishna. That's our position. We just want to surrender to Krishna. We are Krishna's, we are the servant. Just like the gopis say, we are slaves. So we are also slaves. We are also servants. So we have to accept whatever condition Krishna wants. So we have to learn from the gopis, just like the gopis. <laughs> they they say we are we are your slaves we are your servants thank you guru maharaj i also like that from the previous chapter that gopi they when they not see krishna they feel very uh, very pain and they immediately start to think of krishna lila they do they immediately think of the Lila and they become, some of them become Kaliya and some of them step on the head of the Kaliya and this drama and I think we can also, we, we don't see Krishna here, but Gopi they see every day, still they are really, they do it as soon as they don't see Krishna. So here I was thinking that maybe every Saturday or Sunday when we have program, we should do some drama for Krishna. In this way our kids can be also, you know, by training, they can be in Krishna consciousness and also we have to teach them so we can also think about Krishna. I think this is what I learned from last chapter of Guru Maharaj. Okay, very nice, yeah. Yes, remember the pastimes of Krishna, reenact them. Mm โปรดีกาบอกว่าโปรดีชอบในการที่เวลาลีลาเอ่อโกปิคิดถึงคริสต์นะเขาจะเล่นลีลาเกี่ยวกับการที่คริสต์นะทางโปรดีบอกว่า
ราะฉะนั้นเราก็อยากจะได้ลึกถึงเรื่องราวลีลาของคริสนาอยู่เสมอนั่น Lord Chaitanya also would reenact different pastimes of Krishna. Before taking sannyas, Lord Chaitanya he would go to the home of one of the devotees in Mayapur there, and they would do drama in the devotee's home. And Lord Nityananda, when he was a young boy living in Eka Chakra, they would do drama every day with all the children in the village. Okay. Any other questions? Sh yes, Shaya. Yes, we have from Shaya Magazine. Okay, Shaya. ท่านอาจารย์ดาริอินทิชาเปฮะอินชาเยฮะอ่าพอดีอยู่ข้างนอกโอเคค่ะเอ่อพี่มีคําถามง่ายๆแต่ว่ายังความสงสัยถึงแ
so because some some people give her comment that when whatever you do might be something about sadhana or reading or uh, something like that you should it's not necessary for you to all to post it all the time it's like showing off or showing that you have a lot of too much like a lot of devotion toward krishna you should keep it confidential like not sharing with the public like something like that so what do you think regarding this should we uh, keep it with ourselves or should we post it or? well yes sometimes sometimes we there is it is said sometimes that we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't show off that you know that we have our japa beads or that i have a, a guru we shouldn't promote the guru we shouldn't tell people my guru and we shouldn't show people all my deities promote our deities here yeah, that we want people to see i'm very pious i'm very religious so we we show we have many deities and sometimes people, they're, they're very fun to put big pictures of their guru everywhere. So that's not very good. Some people don't like it. There's even a, there's a, a verse like that in the scriptures which says, we don't show our beads to people and we don't show our guru. Hide your guru and hide your deities. <laughs> So you don't want to promote, you don't want to be telling people about your own self, but you want to maybe quote some verse from scriptures that's nice give a verse from the from the srimad bhagavatam or from the bhagavad gita or you may have some story maybe there's a pastime you can tell Maybe some anecdote or some lila which is there, maybe a Prabhupada lila you can tell, something like that with, which has a nice message for people. You know, like one story you could tell is like, the yogi and who the yogi got appro approached by the mouse and the mouse came to the yogi and said to the yogi please save me a cat's coming and so the yogi said well what can i do and so the mouse asked the yogi can you make me a cat so the yogi made the mouse into a cat <laughs> And then after a while the cat came back and the cat said, there's a dog chasing me now. So he said, can you make me a dog? So the yogi made the cat into the dog. But then after a while the dog came back and the dog said, there's a tiger chasing me. So they said, can you make me a tiger? So the yogi made the dog into the tiger. But then the tiger started to look at the yogi and he was thinking, he was licking his lips and he was thinking that I want to eat the yogi. And then the tiger started to look at the yogi and he was thinking that I want to eat the yogi. 
โยคีหรือท่านฤาษีนี่นะปรากฏว่าน้ำลายไหลรู้สึกอยากจะกินท่านโยคีนี้ขึ้นมาไอ้ท่านฤาษีนี้ขึ้นมา So then the yogi said to the tiger, again you become a mouse, and the tiger became a mouse. So this is a very nice story. Prabhupada told this story, and it has a very interesting moral moral to the story. The moral of the story is that you may get a big position in the material world. You may go up the ladder. You get a big position. You get more money. You get more fame and recognition. But if you don't use it properly, then you lose everything. คำสอนหรือสาระที่เราจะได้จากเรื่องนี้ก็คือถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยอาจจะอาจจะประสบความสําเร็จทางชีวิตวัตถุมากมายเหมือนกับขั้นบันไดที่เราอาจจะพัฒนาขึ้นจนไปถึงขั้นสูงนะแต่ถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยไม่ไม่ใช้สิ่งเหล่านั้นเนี่ยไปในทางที่ถูกก็จะทําให้เราวันหนึ่งก็จะทําให้เราตกลงมา So it will be better if you tell things like this and rather than just put things about your own self or about You know, people. You you can tell some story, tell some philosophy. We have many many stories like that, and it's very nice if you can put them into Thai, and then all the people of Thailand can hear these stories. You understand, Shaya? Yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand. So, uh, I will adjust about uh, content to if I share about uh, devotional service, uh, then maybe uh, to explain about why we should do and is good effective for um, material or uh, cleaning my or About because I think about if you if me thinking about Vishnu or the devotional service is good for my mind and my soul, then I I will just adjust about this. But I have um more question. If I talking or associate about talking just like if I talk some devotee about discuss about some lila or the one. Now, Shaya, do you speak in Thai? Yes. Yeah. Shaya, you have to speak yeah. in Thai. You have to speak in Thai now. You spoke the question in English. Now you speak it in Thai. Okay. 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 ที่เข้าใจที่กรุมหาราชพูดแล้วทีเนี้ยเดี๋ยวพี่จะลองปรับคอนเทนต์ดูว่าในเวลาที่เราโพสเนี่ยในเวลาที่เราดูยูบอลเซอร์วิสอย่างเงี้ยค่ะทำตรงเนี้ยก็เหมือนกับว่าจะให้เป็นความรู้ค่ะว่าเราควรจะทําเพราะอะไรเนี่ยค่ะก็จะไม่เชิงบอกว่าเหมือนกับเราทําแล้วก็อวดแต่ว่าทําเพราะอะไรแล้วมันดียังไงอันเนี้ยเดี๋ยวพี่จะปรับปรุงแต่พี่มีคําถามเนี่ยถามกรุมหาราชว่าอ้าวแล้วถ้าเราเหมือนกับดีทักกับยูบอลที่คนอื่นอะไรเงี้ยว่าวันเนี้ย
สวดมนต์แล้วฉันรู้สึกดีหรือวันนี้ฉันรู้สึกว่าเข้าใจลีลาของกิจหน้าหรือเข้าใจลีลาของเอ่ออวตารอื่นของปากวานี่นะคะ่ะมันจะเป็นการว่าเราอวดไหมเวลาเราพูดแบบเนี้ยกับดีโวที่คนอื่นอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเข้าใจไหมอันนี้คือไม่ได้ไม่ได้แชร์ในโพสต์ในโซเชียลแต่เป็นการเหมือนพูดคุยกันอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะมันจะดูว่าเราขี้อวดไหมเราสามารถพูดได้ไหมอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเข้าใจไหมเข้าใจโอเคขอบคุณค่ะ So, yes, um, you can tell people, tell people what you're doing, but it's better you just teach by example. If you you don't want to be telling people so much, you want to show people. You don't want to talk to people and tell them I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You just you teach by your own example, not by all your words, not by what you say. But what you do is more important. เวลามาระยะจะให้พี่เนี่ยสอนคนจากการที่พี่เนี่ยกระทําให้เขาดูมากกว่าการที่พูดให้เขาฟังว่าทําอะไรว่าเราทําอะไรอะไรแต่ว่าให้เขาเนี่ยรู้จากการให้เขารู้เองจากการกระทำดี People need to see the example. But it's not good if you're always telling people, "I'm doing this, I'm doing Krishna, I'm serving Krishna." It's not very good. You have to show by your actions. We say actions speak louder than words. So devotee is very humble. One of the qualities of devotee is to be very humble, and we think I'm very fallen that I'm not a good devotee. One of the qualities of devotee is to be very humble, and we think I'm very fallen that I'm not a good devotee. One of the qualities of devotee is to be very humble, and we think I'm very fallen. I'm just trying to be a devotee. So please help me. I need your help. We don't want to talk about our own. Glories. We don't want to glorify our own self or speak about how great I am. I'm doing this. I'm that. I'm a, you know, I I'm doing so many things for Krishna. That's not very good. Ah, จะไม่ได้เป็นการดีถ้าเกิดเราไปบอกว่าเออเนี่ยฉันทำตรงนี้อยู่ฉันทำตรงนั้นอยู่ฉันทำหลายอย่างอยู่เพื่อฉันการไปพูดเกี่ยวกับตัวเองแบบนี้มันอาจจะไม่ค่อยดีมาก We should think I need to do more for Krishna. Please, you help me. Can you help me? We need to get the mercy. We need to get get mercy. We're anxious to get mercy from others. So it's important for us always think of ourselves that we're unqualified, we're unworthy. So the more the more the devotee advances. The more humble he becomes. And the more humble he becomes, the more he thinks he's very fallen and very unqualified. He thinks I'm not doing anything for Krishna. I, I've done nothing. I need to do something for Krishna. 
I'm very fallen. I'm very sinful. Anybody who anybody who hears my name, they become sinful just by hearing my name. And if, an, if anybody says my name, they lose all their pious activities. I need the mercy of the devotees and Krishna. So be careful how you deal with other people. Try to try to keep them happy. Try to please them. Offer all respects to them. And don't be anxious to get respect for yourself. Offer the respect to others. This is the third verse of Lord Chaitanya's Shikshastikam. I want you to memorize this verse, Shaya. Trinadapi Suniche na Tararapi Sahishnuna Mane na Manadena Kirtani Yasadahari. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind. One should think of himself, one should be more tolerant than the tree, devoid of all sense of false prestige, ready to offer all respects unto others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. <laughs> แล้วก็ต่อผู้อื่นโดยไม่หวังความเคารพตอบแทนแต่ควรที่จะมีความอดทนเหมือนกับต้นไม้ด้วยการคิดเช่นนี้เนี่ยจะสามารถเอ่อ
but in the spiritual part it said that the love is increasing how how should we understand or explain this point to us well there has it's a very deep relationship it's not material relationship if the relationship is material then we will forget but if it's a genuine spiritual relationship we won't forget the love will increase if it has to be not it has can't be on the you know if it's on the platform of the body if it's just that we love someone on the body for our sense gratification then we will forget but if it's a spiritual relationship if it's not just for our body if it's a genuine spiritual relationship in relation to krishna and devotional service then you won't forget and then the love will increase just like spiritual master Srila Prabhupada my spiritual master so he is gone he is left but he's always with me I always remember him because I remember his teachings and I read his books and I think about how to please him So that's, that's the difference, it's not, not material. Material relationship, oh it's just the body, it was just sense gratification. Oh, find somebody else to satisfy my senses. But the relationship with the spiritual master is different, it's a spiritual relationship. So the relationship with Krishna, Krishna's devotees, is spiritual so separation the love increases we increase the love I explain in time <laughs> แต่ในทางวัตถุเนี่ยเราจะเข้าใจว่าความรักในรูปแบบของความสังเกตเนี่ยมันจะทําให้เอ่อเราเนี่ยลืมกับความรักตรงนั้นหรือว่าสภาพ